I don't think it's bad doctors or people who didn't care because I I've known doctors who really did try to help me. Yeah. But for some reason, they didn't know about rhizotomy. They didn't know that it was a viable option for, you know, somebody who's not a preschooler. And it was never offered. It's like nobody knows about it. If uh, they had gotten to me a little bit earlier than they did with the rhizotomy, I wouldn't have had nearly so many orthopedic deformities, wouldn't have so many twistings and turnings of the bones and the feet. It was more a question of how close am I to not being able to walk. There were different opinions from different doctors over the course of many years, but I knew the whole time that I was very, very close. To being in a chair and it was just it it wasn't really a question of how I looked anymore it was just a question of how am I going to live the life that I've been living and continue to live it as I started seeing more and more of my adult patients I got to thinking about the application of rhizotomy to the older patient um, and it, it took me a while to convince some of my neurosurgical colleagues to start the process, uh, but we have. It wasn't until Roy, whose mind had been changed by his experiences in China, it wasn't until he said, I think you should get the rhizotomy, that it validated what I had always known in myself and reopened up the conversation about rhizotomy that I had figured for so many years was closed. I'm really, yeah, this is, this is a new beginning. <laughs>